2023 Acura Integra Review. A nostalgia-tinged luxury hatchback that is satisfyingly good to drive. Even though the Acura ILX in retrospect wasn't ever all that bad, it still wasn't exactly the most loved vehicle. Thus, when Acura surprised a bunch of tipsy show-goers during Pebble Beach 2021 with a cryptic teaser of a new Acura Integra, shown via a drone-powered light show in the night sky, the internet went abuzz with speculation. Fast forward a little over a year and a half, the Integra is finally here, as Acura's cheapest, smallest, and most nostalgia-inducing model. Based on the Honda Civic, the 2023 Acura Integra aims to be a compelling entry-level, luxury car with a touch of sport and an available manual transmission. What is the 2023 Acura Integra? If you've been anywhere near the automotive enthusiast scene since, oh, say, since the late 1990s, you'll probably be familiar in some fashion with the Integra. Born in the late 1980s, the Integra has always been the entry-level Acura, slotting underneath the flagship Legend and midsize Vigor. Underneath, it was essentially a Honda Civic with more luxury appointments, yet, that very good pedestrian base proved to be a great jumping-off point for a luxury vehicle. Eventually, the Integra gave way to the Acura RSX, and then the Acura ILX, but neither could recapture the magic that the Integra brought. New Cars on the Horizon 2023 Acura Integra V's 2021 Acura ILX Thus, most enthusiasts probably remember the Integra from where it stood in pop culture. Like, they look back on automotive greats like Tiff Nettle, extolling the virtues of the Integra Type R. They've got fond memories of video vixens and import models posing next to them at auto shows inspired by the Fast and the Furious. Lore aside, the Integra was always one thing at its core. A really nice Civic-based car, sold at a more premium price. The 2023 Acura Integra really is that same ethos, too. Underneath, the Acura Integra shares much of its structural design and running gear with the Honda Civic C. Yet, Acura has made styling and refinement changes that aim to convince the buyer to pay a little more cash for the Integra. In today's world, the Integra competes against other entry-level cars of its type, like the rakish Mercedes-Benz CLA class, the stylish Audi A3, or the surprisingly refined BMW 2 Series Grand Coupe. Stylistically, the Integra wears the same exterior design language we've seen on other Acuras like the TLX and MDX, albeit with some unique touches. For example, in a nod to the iconic first two generations of the Integra, an embossed Integra script logo is underneath the driver's side headlight and passenger side taillight. Not everyone is a fan of the Integra's styling, but it is definitely a car that looks better in person rather than in images. Personally, I don't have any strong opinions either way, but my biggest complaint is that the Integra's proportions are obviously shared with the Honda Civic. The two cars may not share any body panels, but the Integra has the same relatively upright windshield rake and low belt line we've seen on the Civic. Dimensionally, the Integra and Civic have the same 107.7 wheelbase and identical front and rear track widths. If the exterior didn't cue you into the Civic roots, the interior definitely will. It's not like the Integra's interior is bad. The plastics are of good quality, with soft-touch materials on many surfaces in reach from the driver's seat. The fit and finish of trim pieces, switches, and knobs, are generally very good. The interior's layout is very usable. Everything is easy to find, and no control or dial is too far from reach. The infotainment is easy to use, especially compared to the somewhat frustrating experience of other Acuras, like the MDX. The seats are comfortable and supportive for cruising and sportier driving. The A-Spec model has swanky Alcantara inserts on the front seats, while the rears are just leather. Unlike other competitors, the Integra has generous rear legroom and a spacious trunk. 2023 Acura Integra Steering Wheel View Despite these being good things, the Integra still feels a little too close to its Civic roots. True, Acura has changed the dashboard, door panels, and seats from the Civic, but the overall vibe is unshakably compact Honda. Yes, 
The Integra has a few goodies, like the ELSE audio system, and heads-up display that isn't available on the Civic. But, if you were expecting a big center knob or touchpad infotainment navigation like the RDX or MDX, or maybe a more intimate feeling interior like the TLX, then the Integra may feel disappointing to you. The 2023 Acura Integra is a bit retro to drive, but in a good way. Arguably, the biggest distance between the Civic and Integra, and the Integra and its competitors, is its powertrain. The Integra has the same 1.5-liter, direct-injected turbocharged engine as the Honda Civic C. It produces 200 horsepower and 192 feet lbs of torque, and unlike the Civic C, it can be had with an automatic transmission. Also, the Integra is available with a manual transmission, something you can't get on the Mercedes-Benz CLA, Audi A3, or BMW 2 Series Grand Coupe. On paper, the Acura Integra's specs are kind of meh, but cars can often be more than the sum of their parts or specifications. Depending on the source, the Integra can only turn a 0 to 60 time in the low 7 second range, easily walked by a lot of non-premium cars. Its grip levels from the all-season tires are lower than the summer-only options on the Civic C. And yet, behind the wheel of the Integra I found myself not really caring all that much. The 1.5-liter turbo feels almost like fan service to Honda's of old in how it builds its power. Not much at the bottom, but building all up top, like an old B-Series Honda. The engine is revvy in ways that the 2.0-liter engines from the German Big 3 just aren't. It's an engine that encourages you to drive hard, rewarding you with a willing torque curve that may not have as much as you'd like, but gives what it has with all of its machined heart. The transmission gearing is well matched, with a feather light clutch that is easy to modulate and throws that feel satisfyingly mechanical. The steering is great, and the Integra will even display a predictably playful eagerness to rotate its rear end when pushed hard enough. As satisfying the Integra is to drive, it doesn't feel as refined as the bank vault like Mercedes-Benz CLA Class or BMW 2 Series Grand Coupe. Does the 2023 Acura Integra make sense? The Integra won't likely ever beat those, just a Honda Civic C, not worth it, allegations. Because, well, it kind of is. Sort of. As tested, the 2023 Acura Integra A spec with the technology package, the only way to get a 6-mount Integra, clocked in at $38,445, including the $600 for the special liquid carbon metallic gray paint. By comparison, the cheapest 2023 Civic C could be had for $29,595, that's $8,850 cheaper than the Integra. Does that make sense? Is the Acura Integra worth $8,000 more dollars? It depends. For some, that answer is no, it isn't. Those who were dead set on the Civic C might find the Integra's upgrades not worth the price of entry. Others who are shopping in the entry-level premium segment may find the Integra's starting price alluring, but turned off by the lack of an AWD option and relative lack of refinement. For others, the extra price is worth it. The Integra's leather seats, premium sound system, hatchback body, adjustable dampers, and slightly softer demeanor can be compelling. It's as if Acura finally built the perfect Honda Civic C. This buyer wants something that's engaging and earnest, but still a nice, comfortable place to be, without all the hyper-complicated transmissions and gimmicks found in other brands producing cars of the same class. This person really liked the Civic C, but just wanted something nicer, quieter, and in hatchback form. All things considered, the 2023 Acura Integra is a good car. It's not often to see a manual transmission in a new car these days. As we electrify and SUVIFY our transportation, the visceral feeling of enjoying an engine's vibrations, pressing a clutch pedal, and pulling a lever backward, is quickly dying out. Electric powertrains are silent and nearly vibration-free. New cars are soft, quiet, and very refined, at the expense of personality.